You know, I'm a little, I'm a little taken aback as we sit here and talk. I've been listening to vehicles run up and down this beach yes. that is supposed to be closed to That's all right. vehicles. It was at one time my, there were signs up and they even tore them down. They tore the nose off the no entry, yeah. <laughs> no exit. Yeah. Yeah. No and all the bollards that were in the ground, they tore them all they up. Them out. They just pull them out before we arrive. Right. If you go and have a look down here, down the front, you'll see a bollard. You might have saw it when you come out of your boat. You might have saw a round bollard sticking up out of there. That came from down here on the track, where all the bollards were put there. They pulled them out, cement and all. The ones they couldn't pull out, they burnt. And then on top of that, they took the tractors down there and those all, that's where they did the Culture and Heritage Act down there, on top of our shore meetings. And that's all sacred sites, you know, places of significance, you know. Someone nearly ran. Someone nearly ran James down in, in the tractor. He was on the. He was walking down here, and this this lady, this lady or whoever it was, came nearly ran him over in the tractor. And and. Yeah. We uh, you know, we. They're very spiteful. What makes me angry is the signs down there. Those penalties. But not one person has been fined for driving on the beach. There seems to be a big struggle between government parties as to who owns what part, and we're all not doing nothing. <laughs> yeah, but the council put them in. It's so it was hitting your head against the brick wall. People, they must have some. But they do nothing. You know, this this is uh, this has been a great experience meeting you in that, and it's been an eye opener, and. Uh, I would love to go experience more, more of your beach, and, and more, more of this, truly, more of this magical setting. And uh, you know, I. I uh